Oregon is known for great craft beer. One of the best in Bend is Ten Barrel. Oh wow, this is great. <laughs> Well, you know, I wanted to have some beers after we got done, but this is ridiculous. It's a little excessive. Cool. How you doing, Kyle? How's it going? Hi, Chris. Nice you. How are you doing? Yeah. Doing good. Good. Well, Man, does it smell good in here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, it's beer. Really? <laughs> so I was told that Ben has, a, well, Oregon has a lot of breweries. Ben has a lot of breweries. We do. What's the deal here? I don't know. A lot of people say it's the water, but uh, it's kind of just an industry that took off and people are jumping on it. I mean, there's nothing better than kicking back having a beer so absolutely Are we actually gonna get to sample something because I can't see us <laughs> getting anything out of these giant beer cans I think we could probably find a bottle or two around here all right cool. <laughs> thank God yeah. <laughs> yeah so we started back in 2006 uh, opened our first pub in 2009 Wow outgrew our first brewery which was about Nah, 2,500 square feet, I think, to, oh, I think we're right at 35,000 really? square feet. Just did a big expansion, add another 10,000 to it. This upcoming year, we're adding another 60,000 square foot building in the lot next door. And it's gonna be a lot more beer coming out of here next year. More beer. So what kind of beer, is there a particular type or style you guys specialize in? Uh, we're generally known as a pretty hop forward brewery, a lot of IPAs. Yeah. Uh, we've got two main production uh, IPAs, the Apocalypse and the Joe. And then our seasonal, Pray for Snow, uh, you know, it's, it is a winter seasonal, winter warmer, but we tend to throw in a few more hops than a lot of people do. I think that's the appropriate one to be trying today, Pray for Snow, because <laughs> it's pretty snowy. He said something there. about winter warmer. I think that's <laughs> yeah. going to be the one I'm yeah, having. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. Jake. You're Jake, right? Hey, Jeff, what are we doing? We're good. Kyle said you had beers. Yes, sir, we'll awesome. pray, for pray for snow is not something. Pray for I snow. I think it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look, gun oh, talk bottle wow. opener. What? But I'm just gonna. Oh. Cheers. 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 Yum. What? That's 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 heavy dark beer, isn't it? <laughs> it's good. It's made for drinking yeah. in the snow. My yeah. goodness, that'll, that'll, that'll warm you up. <laughs> I was gonna say, that'll warm your cockles. Yeah. Man, this is awesome. How high are we like right now? I mean, this is oh. like three stories, right? At least? Pretty close. So why do you gotta get to the top of the tank? Well, so it gives our access for our brewers to dry hop the, the IPAs. So basically they can sit there and put pellet hops in. Oh, so they can just drop stuff right in? Yeah, they take it they take it and dump it in by a large quantity through a funnel. And it's that's how we dry hop our tanks. So it's not an easier way, so you gotta have a catwalk. Basically, yeah, to reach the tanks. <laughs> These are all 400 gallon tanks. 400 barrels. Barrel a barrel is 31 gallons. I know, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of beer. And then they can get in and clean them if they have to. For a body, a person could get in there? There's our bottling line. They can run out a whopping 80 bottles a minute. That's more than a bottle a second? Yeah, that is. How far does uh, the 10 Barrel Brewing Company reach? We are in the whole Northwest, California, Colorado, we're out in New York. Then we discovered something really different. Oh my gosh. Not bad, huh? You can taste the rum in that. Alcohol level is 10%. Whoa. Ooh, that is good. Pumpkin aged in rum barrels. Oh yeah, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Coming up, we're in the field where the deer and the elk play. It's beautiful in the snow, but about those hazards, absolutely destroyed the front end of our car. 